Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with another book haul. I feel like I do one of these every like two weeks, but I had a pretty high stack going of my regularly books that I buy and uh, am sent, but then I went to the Half Price Books clearance sale, and every June in um, my town, so in Columbus, Ohio, the Half Price Books stores put together a clearance sale, and they go to the convention center in Columbus, and the entire warehouse, basically, um, um, is full of tables and of books and nothing's over two dollars mass markets are 50 cents so I bought 30 books for $30 I think I actually bought 29 books for $30 and it was like 30 64 or something like that so I ran to the mass markets because I am totally after going to uh, Europe I'm back from my trip after going I want to read every historical romance ever Scotland is literally my new favorite place now in the world like I want to go back so badly my Outlander tour was like a dream come true. Still can't believe that that happened. Saw all the Outlander locations. I want to go back to Scotland so badly. Spend like so much more time there. We had about two days there. I wish I could go back and just spend an entire vacation there because it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm obsessed now. So I have books to share with you. I'm first going to get to the books that I was sent and that I bought and then I'm going to get to my big box. Since we're on the topic of my vacation, I walked home with five books, um, flew home, really, and I got a couple souvenirs, too. I went to Harry Potter studio tour, so while I was at the Harry Potter studio tour, I'm going to go completely out of order. That was the last place we went was London, and so I picked up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This one says Philosopher's Stone. It has the sticker to say that I bought this at the studio, which I actually like. I did buy some Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, and I bought a keychain for the Triwizard Tournament of the, uh trophy um, because the fourth movie is my favorite Thir three and four are my favorite movies um, and I've only read all the books through once and I have read book six twice because I read it right before the movie and hated the movie because of that but I really want to reread the series again because it's been over 10 years since I read it um, but I bought this and then while I was in Scotland everything in Scotland is like Harry Potter because JK Rowling wrote a lot of Harry Potter while she lived in Scotland so I went to the elephant house I went to the cemetery right around the corner got to see Tom Riddle's grave McGonagall's plaque that she would write underneath because um, McGonagall was a poet in real life and then went down Victoria Street which is rumored to be what inspired her to make Diagon Alley and so I decided to buy the third Hufflepuff um, book for the series. I didn't even know this was out yet. I owned book one and two in the Hufflepuff version and they recently released book three. It's a very Harry Potter trip and Primark is a store in both Scotland and England and it's like super cheap clothing and the one in England we went to actually had a whole Harry Potter section like a room dedicated to Harry Potter. So I did get another keychain for Hufflepuff and I got a Hufflepuff sweatshirt so that was really cool. Um, but then in Scotland I had to had to buy myself a copy of Outlander. This is probably like my sixth copy, fifth copy of this book. I know I have an issue, but like Outlander is my thing. I'm obsessed with Outlander. Like if you know me, I'm known for two things, Outlander and Black Decker Brotherhood. That is what I love, my obsessions. And so I had to buy the paperback of this. I got it in a Waterstones. It reminded me of my trip and I just want to reread it because it was just, it was magical, that trip was. But then um, in... London on our way home we were in the airport and we had about 10 pounds left to spend and if you bring home any money from the UK it's like worth nothing when you try to um, exchange it in the US and so we just spent the rest of our money so I bought The Nightingale by Chris and Hannah I really wanted to read this and the spine is gorgeous and so I decided to buy that in the bookshop in the airport and then they gave me a free copy of a classic and I was just so overwhelmed and I just picked this one up it's Tess of the Durbervilles it's uh, like the black edge pages which I think is cool. I read this in high school. Wasn't a huge fan, but I think if I reread it now, I'll probably like it better than when I was in high school. Um, but yeah, so I got five books, and I should have, I would have bought more, but I didn't. There were like, I think I went into six different water zones my entire time in Europe, but I walked out with only those books because I was trying to tell myself I really didn't have any room. We only brought carry-ons and backpacks, and we wouldn't have any room. I bought a sweatshirt in Scotland, a necklace in Scotland. Not much in Dublin. A lot of food and candy for my parents that we brought home and some tea, so... 
that was my trip and then I came home to a ton of packages so I will get to those I don't know what I want to do first I'll do this sack first it's from Berkeley this one's what I'm most excited for and that is the bromance book club by L Lisa Lisa K Adams this one sounds so fun it's a baseball player and his marriage is like on the rock so he decides to form a book club with his friends and they're reading romance to try to salvage his marriage it sounds so good it doesn't come out until November but I'm gonna read it like real soon because it sounds so so good. Then I was a finished copy of The Wedding Party by Jasmine Guillory and this is super exciting because I just saw on Instagram that Jasmine Guillory and Carrie Winfrey who, who wrote Waiting for Tom Hanks are actually going to be at the Joseph Beth Booksellers in Cincinnati in July and I'm definitely going to go to that and I'm so excited to meet those two authors. I love Jasmine Guillory. I've only read The Wedding Date. The Proposal, I'm going to read it this week hopefully and so then I can read this. This comes out in July and it's gorgeous. I don't know the uh, synopsis but uh, I'm excited for this book. The next book I was sent was Devoted to Love by Shayla Black. I believe Shayla Black's going to be at a signing I'm going to in September, Readers on the River, which is in Kentucky, but it's like considered Cincinnati. I don't get that whole border down there, but this one is a bodyguard romance, so that's really exciting. And on Facebook, I want a copy of Booted by Pam Goodwin. This is actually book three in the series, but it is a cowboy romance, and just look at that cover. The covers of this entire series are gorgeous, so I'm excited to have one a copy of this. Then I bought myself a copy of On the Rocks by Candy Steiner. This one was on sale, I think, for like $11. For some reason, recently, Amazon has been putting new releases on sale for a few days. So I just bought the second book in Jessica Hawkins' um, Violent Delight series. It's like Violent Ends, I think, because it was like $11, and she was going to move it up to $15 soon. So this one was on sale, and it's back up to full price now at $15. So I had to snag it while I saw it. I've already read this. I did a full video of my favorite small town romances, which I will link down below if you want to see. This is about a girl who is engaged to a politician and she's only 18. She just finished her first year of college and she goes to a whiskey distillery to buy a barrel of whiskey for her fiance and runs into the bad boy of the town that she kind of knew when she was younger but there's like a seven year age gap between them and he makes her reconsider why she's marrying, what she wants to do with her life and a romance ensues and it's really 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 cute and I loved it. I gave it five stars so I'm happy to have another candy signer book in my collection. Then I was really excited about this and I didn't know I was going to get this but I was sent the anthology Hungry Hearts by a ton of authors but it's edited by Elsie Chapman and Caroline Tung Richmond. This I was sent from Simon Teen, I believe. Yes. And it's all about food. So they're short stories of YA stories that revolve around food. So I'm really excited. I'll probably read this soon. It just seems really cute and I feel like in the mood for a fun YA story, so I'll read this soon. I'm doing a blog tour with Avon, so I was sent two uh, historical romances and two more on their way to me, but I'm so excited because they're some of my favorite authors, and so that is Say No to the Duke by Eloise James, which I believe is the fourth in this series, so I don't know if you need to read the rest. I do own the rest of them. And then I got One Fine Duke by Lenora Bell. Both of these are two of my favorite historical romance authors, so I'm excited to have these. Don't know what they're about, but I'm gonna read them. The next one sounds so good. I was sent it from Berkeley Romance. It's another historical romance, and that is Someone to Honor by Mary Balog. Our main character, her parents die and she figures out that her parents weren't actually married and so she, I mean that's a big no-no in this society. So she doesn't have to have the um, expectations of a single wealthy woman. She can just do whatever she wants now because she's not you know, of um, ethical standards in that time period. And so she meets this man, chopping wood, and she scolds him for being, like, indecent around women. And he ends up actually not being a servant, but a lieutenant who brought home her brother. I think he was wounded or something. And so it sounds like it's going to be a really fun romance. The next one I was sent from Entangled Publishing, and I actually was sent two copies, so I'll probably do a giveaway on my Instagram. So check out for that. It's linked down below. And that is Deadlock by Sherry Lynn. Cherry Lynn. I don't know if what that is, Sherry. This is a hacker romance and our main character is a hacker and he ends up having to help someone he hates. So it's an enemies to lovers romance. I don't know if they have a past or not but I've got two of these so I'll read it and then give one away. Then I'm going to be part of the bookstagram tour for one of these books so I've sent all three from Simon Teen and they are three really exciting YA books. So the first one's Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. I'm pretty sure this one's a female female romance. I just love this cover and I've heard really good things so I'm excited to read this. Then I was sent Hot Dog Girl which I believe is also a female female romance and I've heard that it's a couple of problematic things. I think Chelsea from Chelsea Dollar Reads didn't exactly love this one but it sounds cute still. I think she like uses someone um, to fake date to make someone jealous and we'll see how that turns out. And the last one I was sent was the one that I am doing the bookstagram tour for and that is These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling. This cover is gorgeous. It's about witches and that's all I know and I'm really excited to read this. 
the last book I have before I get into my book, uh, my big box of books is Untouchable by Sam Mariano. I think you guys are going to be like so excited that I got this. I talked about this in my last reading vlog, but this one is a bully romance. So many of you tell me to read this after watching any of my bad boy romances or hate to love romances. And so I got to meet Sam and she signed it for me and I'm excited for this. At that signing, I did also pick up a copy of The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Myron Zapotics. I didn't own that yet and she was there and I also got an Emma Scott book but those are I've already put away so I'm not gonna grab it and show it to you all right so now I have 30 29 books to show you and I'm not gonna go through what these are about I'm just gonna show you what I bought they're all used I'm obsessed with buying from half price books it's my favorite store ever that's how I have so many books I get a lot from them and they do have indie books sometimes so I do I found like LJ Shen there I found Emma Scott I found Heron Fisher once so I get a lot of my books there it's a bookstore everything's half price and then they have clearance and so I went to their clearance sale and I was obsessed with the historical romances so I did find a few for a signing I'm going to so Lori Foster is an author that's gonna be at that signing I have I got four of her books actually and I got two books in her ultimate series I think they're like fighting romances but I'm really annoyed that a sticker ripped off part of the uh, cover but that's fine it's got two more stickers on it that I got to get off but these are fighting romances and then I got two in her different series I don't know these are two different series this one is a buckhorn forever buckhorn I don't know if this is a series or not. I don't know, but this one's a uh, cowboy romance, and then this one is a guy on a pool table. So I'm seeing her in September at that signing that I talked about earlier, so I got four of her books. I don't know where to put all these now. Um, then I found Demon from the Dark by Cressley Cole. I believe this is book four, hopefully. I don't know. This is book a lot after in this series. I only own the first two, but I saw this and decided to pick it up because I wanted it. I want to collect this series. I did put a lot of books back that were like book 10 in a series because I did find one by Patricia Briggs and I want to read her um, Mercy Thompson series, but that was like book 10 and I don't even own book one yet and I was like, I can't start collecting this without having earlier books. Um, the next one I got is a Gina Showalter book. She's gonna be at that signing as well in September So I bought The Harder You Fall. This one actually doesn't even have a cracked spine So they had another book by her, but it was super beat up So I put that back, but this one looks like it's one of her contemporary romances And I bought nine historical romances, so I did buy two Lisa Claypest stories um, I don't know if I own these already. I didn't even look I might own these, I don't know, but I got Devil in Winter and I have in one autumn. I know for sure I don't own these covers. I do own a few of hers in the other covers they have. So I love the Wallflower series. So I did read Scandal in I, Summer. I read the Summer one, and so I have these two now. I really liked this series. So I, I got these two. I'm throwing books everywhere. I need to stop. Okay. So then I picked up an Eloisa James book, which I'm excited for. It's Your Wicked Ways, and um, I don't know anything about it. About it but I like this author as I said then I'm really excited for this one I got Highland Ecstasy look at that cover like after coming home from Scotland I'm like yes please I did buy love me with fury which I don't know it just looked good bodice ripper I just was going in for the covers I got Raven by Nora Hess and I'm just obsessed with this cover and the step backs of them if you didn't know that's what this is called it's called a step back it's like they're saucy picture on the inside of the cover. I got the Pirate Prince. I'm obsessed with pirate romances, so I wanted to look for some more pirate ones. Um, this one I bought for the cover as well. That is Panther's Prey by Doreen Owens Malik. This one, if you like look, look how cool that is. I think this is like a Middle Eastern one, which I don't typically read. Um, it's in Turkey. And then the last one I picked up is In Fugitive Arms, and this is a futuristic romance that was coming out back then in like the 90s and I bought a couple of these from Goodwill and so this one came out in 1995 but it's a futuristic alien romance so sounds good to me I don't even know if there's aliens but they go to outer space so okay I have five more mass markets I bought and they are all except for one um, fantasy paranormal so the one that's not is hate to want you by Alicia Rye I was looking for her books because I've seen it on clearance at half price books that I didn't pick up so it's a contemporary romance that's really popular um, that I've heard about I got Christine Feehan's water bound which I think is the first in the series but I want more of her books too and then I got angels flight by Nunalini Singh I don't even know if I own this one already I might I had a list so I didn't even know if I uh, own this or not because it wasn't on my list to buy but I don't think I own this so that's good I'll put it over there um, I got the dark Darkest Whisper by Gina Showalter. I believe this is book four in this series, and I own books one through three. 
one, two, three, yep, over there, but I don't know. It was hard to figure out what books were what and what series. They had a ton of Christine Feehan books, but their, her series are super long, so I didn't even touch any of those. But, and then I got Lord of Vampires by Gina Showalter. This is the first book in this series as well, so I picked it up, never heard of it, but I'm gonna read it. I also got nine um, regular paperbacks slash hardbacks that were all $2 each. So the first two that I was so shocked to find and I was like freaking out, I got two L. Kennedy books there. And so these are with Vivian Arend. Um, I've never heard of this series before and they were books two and three. They had a lot more by Vivian Arend there, um, but they didn't have book one of this series, so I'll have to buy it. And that's Love is a Battlefield and Don't Walk Away. And I believe these are military romances. So super excited to find these. L. Kennedy's a favorite of mine. Then I bought a hard copy of A Darker Shade Magic. I do believe I own this. I have this in hardback. It's right there. I already have this, so I'm gonna give this to my sister or put it in my classroom. Okay. I did limit myself to not buying too much for my classroom because I uh, am out of room. I have five bookshelves in my classroom and they're all full, so... I did not let myself buy any more books for my classroom. I also found a hardback of Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. This came out last year, and um, Casey West is a staple YA romance author, so I thought I'd try it out. Then I went back and forth on this because I've heard not good things, but then I've heard good things, and that's One Day in December by Josie Silver. Everybody was reading this last Christmas, and I believe Heather from Bookables enjoyed it. I don't know. So this couple like meets on this bus and then never finds each other again and then I believe that he shows up as like a friend's boyfriend. <laughs> it's very taboo romance but I kind of like those so we'll see if I like this. And then I picked up The Protector by Jodi Ellen Malpass. Um, this one I think is a passion flicks movie or it's going to be one and so I wanted to read this. I've heard really good things about this author and haven't gotten around to reading her yet. Then I got the hardback of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I've had all these in paperback, but I gave that set to my sister because I'm trying to collect the hardback now. When they were coming out, my brother was actually the one that was super into the series, and so my dad would go to the midnight premieres and get the books, like the midnight releases, and get them for my brother. Um, I was a little too young at the time to be reading the um, darker ones, and so um, it was more my brother's thing, and then I read them all one summer when I was like 13, I think, and so I never got the hardback. I did get all the paperbacks for Christmas and my brother didn't let me touch his books so um, I did get the first I got three five six and seven um, at half price book sale last year for two dollars and so uh, my sister went to the YA section when we got there and got this for me and so this was two dollars and they didn't have book one so now all I need is book one so that's really good. The next one I got is SOL by Leslie McAdam. I think that this is a military romance and this is a an indie book, so I was really excited to find this. And then the last book I have is Dead Men Walking by Sherilyn Kenyon. This one is, I believe, is like a pirate romance with demons. I really want to read this. My friend Lacey from Book Lovers for Life wasn't a huge fan of this, but I've been wanting it and I found it for two bucks, so I decided to go ahead and get it. And that's my book haul. That was like extremely long and um, I got a lot of books. I had like 50 books to share with you today. That's just how I roll. I have no room on my shelves. Yeah, I still buy 30 books when I go to a used book sale, but I only spent $30, so that's really good and they were really, really good books, so... I'm excited for all the historical romances I can start reading. But that's all I have for you. Let me know down below uh, if you're excited for what I got and what you want me to read first. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.